JavaScript has many quirks, and as a programming language, it can be passive-aggressive and fickle. It lets you do stuff like execute functions or use them as variables wherever you want, but then it doesn't tell you it's going to hoist them when you're not looking. JavaScript's this keyword is anything but this, if you know how this behaves in any other language. And eval, that can turn harmless strings into evil things. In this session, we'll look at the top common JavaScript headaches, mistakes, quirks, and weird things that you just need to know, as well as how you can avoid or work around them. Learn what can trick you, like syntax slip-ups, or JavaScript scoping, eval, or the with statement. Alongside those gotchas is the fact that not all equality... Let's see JavaScript run some functions and determine the difference in loading between statements and expressions. As you can see here in the demo, we have a web page in IE on the left and the IE debug tools on the right. The developer tools show an HTML page containing a single button that runs some script. In the corresponding JavaScript file, we see declarations for all three function types starting with the function statement at the top of the file. The function statement returns a string into a variable named s in the calling code. The function expression does the same, but it returns a string with the value function expression in it, and it returns that value to a variable named e. In this case, we are using both the function statement and the function expression in the exact same way. These two functions sit alongside an IIFE. Let's see a little bit of the JavaScript equality operators, or non-equality as the case may be, in action. I'll paste in some expressions that log their output to console.log. First, does zero equal an empty string? Equality operator says yes, but exactly equals says no. Does zero equal the quoted zero? Equality operator says true. Exactly equals says false. Does false equal false if false is quoted? Well, that's a result of false for both lines of code. They're in agreement. Does false equal quoted zero? That's conflicting results between the operators. True for equals, false for exactly equals. Does false equal undefined? It's an agreement, as is false equaling null. And does...